It's a new morning here on board Kenfish. We are in St. John's Yard this morning and looking for wildlife. Same routine as most times on board, but the weather today is just phenomenal. Like still water, almost no wind. So we are also just taking some time to enjoy the feeling of being outside. St. John's Fjord and approaching a really awesome outlet glacier over there in the distance. In a scene like this with the outlet glacier, I'm often in a pursuit to recreate the feeling that I get when I'm looking at such an insane beautiful landscape. And often it is a 50-50 mix of what I capture in the moment and how I process the image later on. And considering how the light is right now, it will probably need quite a lot of grading and that is because it's a relatively flat landscape and I would like to enhance the cracks in the ice to better create isolation and hone in on the subject. We have just finished quite an impressive mission out to this outlet glacier and along the way we found some walrus and had a few beautiful compositions and it really made me think about my process of managing stills and filming which I like to keep 50-50. For the first few years of doing this type of expedition travel I focused 95% on photos and I would come home with 10 to 20,000 images from a trip and barely any video and that was fine because I was really in search of those hero shots but as time went on I realized that I was more interested to capture a balance of film and stills of these hero moments and sometimes even push over to focus on cinematic video as my primary thing that I want to capture and in this instance I really put the Ronin 4D first and when we're in these amazing positions with the walrus I really put an emphasis on capturing the movement using the zodiac as an opportunity to track around the walrus as a subject and I think even though I put preference on that I still walked away with some images that I'm really proud of and it really just shows that you can focus on both it just requires a little bit more equipment <laughs> It is the most beautiful texture that I have ever seen in nature and it always impresses me every time. We've also spotted a polar bear off in the distance so we're just kind of cruising around very far away to just see what happens in the next couple of hours.
ryggen när jag pushar den. Ja, men titta den. nu och så har du råken hela vägen. Ja, ja men det vill jag. a new morning feeling fresh we have been out on the sea ice overnight and scouting and scouting and we saw absolutely nothing it was remarkable how little wildlife was out there so we have turned back we're now in the north of the archipelago the search for wildlife continues we've seen even more walrus i feel like this has been just a walrus photo mission and the compositions that i've been going for have been really about getting low and eye to eye level with the walrus and I feel like in all wildlife photography that creates the most captivating connection to the animal itself if you can really get down low, focus in on the eyes, looking from the perspective that they are, which is normally lower than us. And I feel like you can break this by getting top down on them or from underneath looking up. In Antarctica I was photographing fur seals and you can see this combination, how the emotion changes just by standing up or sitting down. It's very important to consider when you're photographing an animal what type of connection you want to create. Often getting low eye to eye creates the strongest compositions. And just like that, it is our last day in the Arctic. What an incredible trip this has been. And I really appreciate you all following along. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much. And please do consider subscribing to my channel because this is not the last time that I'm gonna be up here. And as always, there's a lot to come from Iceland back home. Thank you so much. And one piece of advice from my experience, it is really nice to find a niche in photography, something that ins that sparks your passion every single time. And if you can find something, it can be a genre, a style, even just a specific subject, if you can find something that really sparks that joy inside, that's gonna make it sustainable. That's what's gonna make it possible to take this forward for years and feel content in what you do.